Whether you like light exercises, going to the gym every day, or compete in regular matches or competitions, it's important to understand how alcohol affects sports performance and fitness. Alcohol, as we know, is harmful to sports performance because of how it affects the body physically during exercise and its negative effects on brain processes, especially judgment, which will hinder sports performance. So before we deep dive into understanding its mechanics, we would like to welcome you to Health Buddy, where we help you understand your exercise routines better and what outside factors can do to your body. If you're new here, make sure to hit the subscribe button and click that notification icon for more videos to help you improve your exercise routine. Let's take a look at how alcohol can affect your body in terms of achieving fitness. First of all, dehydration and subpar athletic performance might result from alcohol's diuretic effects. Dehydration can impair performance by causing weariness, a faster heartbeat, an increase in body temperature nausea, and vomiting. These harmful effects could manifest as soon as the body's overall weight decreases by 2% to 3%, mostly as a result of dehydration from drinking the previous evening. We perspire because exercise increases our body temperature. Thus, the chance of dehydration is considerably increased by perspiration and the diuretic effects of alcohol. We must maintain hydration in order for our blood to circulate normally through our bodies during activity and for oxygen and nutrients to get to our muscles and all of the body's organs. The metabolism of the body is hampered by alcohol. Alcohol consumption increases the release of insulin, which results in hypoglycemia or low blood sugar. Normal blood sugar levels are necessary for exercise to provide us with energy. As a result, after drinking, our blood sugar levels will drop and our athletic performance will suffer. So, as a result of impaired motor function, balance, hand-eye coordination, and reaction time caused by alcohol, we perform worse and run a higher risk of getting hurt. We must consume adequate amounts of water to stay hydrated, to replenish water lost during physical activity, and to prevent dehydration if we consume alcohol after exercising. Now, because we can't prevent such incidents, let's take a closer look. After all, we are humans. Exercising the day after drinking. Your ability to exercise will be impacted by a hangover. Our capacity to work at our best might be impacted by even mild hangover symptoms, such as headaches and hypersensitivity to external stimuli, like light and sound. Additionally, exercising the day after consuming alcohol can result in a lower quality training session or sporting performance overall since alcohol interferes with sleep. The risk of irregular, occasionally harmful cardiac rhythms is also increased by drinking. This is a danger that dramatically rises during activity and for two days following binge drinking. It's advised to abstain from alcohol for at least one day and one night prior to your workout in order to maximize your results and minimize dangers to your health and performance. So, how do you avoid your drinking triggers? Being conscious is crucial since sometimes decisions are made automatically. You might automatically pour a glass at the same time every day without giving it any thought. When one glass turns into two or three, not only are you depriving your body of the alcohol-free days it needs to recover, but you also run the risk of exceeding the low-risk drinking guidelines, which state that neither men nor women should habitually consume more than 14 units of alcohol per week. Alcohol and Weight Gain Alcoholic beverages have a high calorie content. Therefore, it is important to keep in mind that alcohol causes weight gain. The simplest strategy to prevent weight gain caused by alcohol is to reduce alcohol use. You should never count on burning off extra calories from alcohol through exercise. Cutting Back it's safer to limit weekly alcohol consumption to no more than 14 units 
6 pints of average strength beer or 10 small glasses of lower strength wine. And if you do consume this much alcohol, do so over the course of 3 or more days, with at least 3 dry days per week. Regularly, exceeding the low-risk drinking recommendations will endanger your health. This brings us to the end of this video. Make sure to check out our other videos to determine whether your routine exercises are helpful or harmful. Thanks guys, and stay fit!